All right, so here's number one. We're still working order of operation. So we want to find the grouping symbols that we need to work first, and it happens to be here because this is a setting grouping symbols inside a set. Uh, sometimes it is brackets, but in this particular problem, it's uh, parentheses. If you want to write brackets, hey, by all means do so. Whatever works best for you. Inside these grouping symbols, we're going to have 5 plus 5 minus 1, which gives us 9. No. And then I'm going to bring down the rest of the problem. I'm going to keep that in parentheses. Uh, when we start multiplying and dividing and raising it by power, you'll lose its actual value if you take it out of the parentheses. Now, still working inside the grouping symbols. I'm at 4 plus 4. Instead of saying 4 plus 4 is 8 and bringing everything down, if you want to write it, hey, that's 8. 8 plus 3. Because I have to go from left to right, and then 11 minus 9 is 2. So I have 10 divided by 2, which gives us 5. So number 2. Still, order of operation, 6 squared minus 5 minus 3 plus 4. Notice that these values are in a set of grouping symbols. So I have to complete that first. So I have 6 squared minus 5 minus 3 plus 4 gives me 6. I'm going to keep it inside. Divided by 5 times 5. And I know that some of you right now have that tendency to want to go ahead and multiply that together. Do not do that. That's not the order we have to go. Still working inside grouping symbols. I'm going to say 36, because 6 squared is 36, minus 6, divided by 5 times 5. 36 minus 6 gives us 30. Now we have to work from left to right. So 30 divided by 5 is 6. And 5 or 6 times 5 gives us 30. Moving on. Number 3, let's start solving some equations. Multi-step <laughs> equations. Uh, this first instance, what do we need to do? We need to distribute here and here because there's that understood multiplication. So I'm going to bring the 5V down plus 4 times 6V is 24V. 4 times a negative 2, negative 8, equals 21. Combine like terms. <clears throat> so 5 plus 24 is 29. Bringing down the rest of the problem. I'm going to move this across, and whenever we cross that equal sign, we change signs. So 29V equals 29. Get V by itself. V equals 1. And next. Still want to solve by distribution first. So 4 times a negative k is a negative 4k. 4 times 1 half. If you have to, go to the side. Let's go over here. 4 over 1 times 1 half. If you're still uncomfortable, 4 over 2 is 2. Remember, multiplication by 1 half is the same as division by 2. Bring the rest of the problem down. I now need to move the 2 across. So negative 4k equals negative 5. Solving for k, I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. k equals 5 over 4. We can leave it that way because why the negatives cancel, but we can leave it as an improper fraction. And next solving with fractions 
Now, there's a couple of ways that we can work this. It may be best to go ahead and distribute first. That way, we then can clear all fractions. So, I'm going to have, what, 25 knots equals. This is negative 5 over 3 times 4 over 3. So, multiply the top two numbers and the bottom two numbers. And then negative 5 thirds times a negative 1 is positive 5 thirds. Now, from here, we're going to cancel fractions or clear fractions by multiplying each term by the common denominator. In this case, 9, 9, and 3, the common denominator is 9. So multiplying everything by 9. You want to put them in parentheses, that's fine. Notice here it cancels, so I'm left with 25. Here it also cancels, so equals a negative 20x plus 9 divided by 3 plus 5, or times 5, sorry. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Nice, neat, clean, and pretty. No fractions. To solve, we need to move 15. We have 10 equals a negative 20x. Divide by 3. Cancels. And I'm going to go ahead and reduce that. So x equals a negative one half. And our next problem. Still solving. We're going to distribute here and here first. So I'm going to bring down the entire problem other than that part first. So now negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Negative 2 times 8 in is negative 16 in. I'm going to combine like terms. Negative 15 plus 2 in equals negative 15 minus 16 in. Me, I'm going to move the 2 in across. How do we do that? Remember, we subtract. That way it cancels. So I'm left with, whoops. Negative 15 equals negative 15. That was minus 2. Negative 18 in. To get in by itself, I'm going to add 15. Cancels. Well, technically it cancels there too. We're left with 0 equals 18 in. If I divide by 18, 0 divided by any number n will equal 0. That is your startup for week number 2.